Welcome back, my friends, the show that doesn't end. It's the final cut. And yes, we've got another cheesy, we're wrapping up our cheesy sci-fi films with one. This one's from the 60s now, the late 60s. And it's called Frankenstein Meets the Space Monster. And it's not really Frankenstein. There's no Victor Von Frankenstein anywhere near this unless he's on a surfboard. Now we get the story of these aliens who come to the planet Earth to steal our women because on Mars there was an atomic war which wiped out most of the female population. So the Martian princess has come to our planet to pick the most supple beach bunnies there were so we can bring them back and they can help repopulate their planet. Meanwhile, on their mission, they end up causing a problem with a rocket launch that's manned by a man who is not really a man, but a machine that looks like a man. Hence the Frankenstein and the people, hence the space monster. Uh, first off, you know... I did like the, the script. Some of the script is funny. And especially the guy who plays Dr. Nader, who's the uh, doctor, uh, Martian doctor who assists the princess in uh, carrying out their plans. I loved his character. It was so over the top, this bald guy with the pointy ears and that. He just, he, he really looked like uh, just a unique character and he just overplays his part so much. He helps carry a lot of the film, uh, especially the scenes with the alien princess who just seems to uh, be reading her lines to try to get through this uh, film and get her paycheck. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of people in this film that you may recognize. Uh, the Robert Gaffey, Gaffney, who directed this, this is his only film, and I can kind of see why. There's lots of use of stock footage from military shots, and that's so they give the impression the jets were coming after the aliens. Uh, the, the effects now on uh, Frankenstein, if you will, on the robot guy, I really liked. I thought that was pretty cool for that day and age for them to take that concept. So I did enjoy that uh, aspect of it. Uh, of course, then, though, you've got the classic 60s soundtrack in here, you know, uh, that could go either for this sci-fi film or Beach Blanket Bingo. So, you know, you get that type of soundtrack in there. And the... the uh, they, only, they kidnapped all these girls. Only one of them screamed, too. I loved it. All these girls, they get kidnapped by these aliens. And only one of them screaming. And I was like, oh, okay, let's go. You know, <laughs> and then in their bikinis, of course. And then the princess had to inspect each one of them. So, yes, you get kind of that uh, uh, sleaze angle to it, though. Uh, not too much, but it is hinted at throughout this film. And the monster that you actually get, the space monster that the Frankenstein takes on, isn't much of a monster. It looks like a Yeti outfit. Uh, <laughs> you know, but for a low budget fare like this, you're not expecting a whole lot. A complete with the spaceship that's bigger on the inside than the outside, what you got is a classic 60s cheesy sci-fi film that is sh that was showing that the genre was kind of really on its way out, even in the low, no budget fare, and that people seem to be just making it to go through the paces. Uh, it's one out of all the films I would say you could probably skip the lease unless you catch it on cable, or maybe get a free rental or catch it maybe on streaming sometime. Uh, but it's definitely uh, probably the weakest, I would say, which is staying a lot, uh, the weakest out of all the films that we watched, because it, it is bad, not quite so bad it's good, like, say, Teenagers from Outer Space. Uh, but again, if you're kind of interested in the 60s sci-fi, uh, you may want to look at it, but I would skip it and choose one of the other films that we reviewed this week. Thank you so much at all for watching this film. Don't forget that we do have a hangout, an Oscars hangout. I've also got my Oscar prediction show coming up before the Oscars. So check it out. Uh, we're going to do a Google Hangout during the Oscars. It'll be on the channel. I'm going to figure out how to do Google Hangout. And I definitely hope to have you there with me while we look at some films that weren't quite so cheesy. Though, uh, that is can also be up for debate. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep the 